So I mean, any other questions um, for Dr. Gary? Well, um, is there anything that uh, you think of uh, public interest? Uh, cool. So what we need to do is we need to um, uh, step through. We need to uh, go to step point one, which is point of deputy engineer. Oh, so we can do those first. So we're doing a couple of things. I'll just explain. Uh, we'll go through there's a couple of uh, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll bring forward uh, Fraser Park Community Trust uh, agenda item six point one six, and we'll have uh, officers present to that, and then we'll uh, ask uh, Gary to just put forward his reasons in regard to uh, okay. the uh, public excluded, and then we'll consider that as a council uh, and make a decision in the way. So we'll just Received anything? Oh, and so. So you got anything coming from the future? It's not coming, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's a wee bit there, isn't it? So myself, I had a conflict with our C.8, which is the establishment of the Wild 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 Policy Joint Committee. So I asked um, the chairman to chair that at the time. Uh, also aware of uh, conflicts in regard to Fraser Park Community Trust, uh, which is Council and uh, Council of Group. And uh, so we decided to step back, and if we were to do this, we would have to do it. Everyone's got new technology, I've got old technology, so I'm behind you. Uh, so, uh, chosen to appoint versus put it to the vote, uh, which is 6 of 1, but I've uh, chosen this regard to uh, appoint uh, Robert Scott Shannon. Last time I'll probably use your first uh, uh, your, uh, first name, but I be, be, believe it's, uh, I did read it's got some musical elements to it as far as the beats too, is that correct? <laughs> So um, I'm happy to move that. Do I have a second for that? Uh, Councillor Burt, uh, put the motion to the floor. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Uh, congratulations, well done. Uh, so now we're going to move uh, 7.16 uh, to the front of the agenda. So, and we are on page 253. Sorry. And we welcome Jason to come up and talk to the paper. Thanks, Jason. All right, thank you, Worship Councillors. Um, <clears throat> this is a report that was presented to Council on the 6th of September, so it's got roughly the same information in it at that time. For the purposes of new councillors, and I guess as a bit of a reminder for the ones who were here at that time, I'll just sort of step through some of the background details and some of the financial implications. Uh, so during the adoption of the 22-23 annual plan, council sought a report from officers um, on options for providing additional funding to the Fraser Park um, Park. Um, essentially this report at the time, uh, the recommendation was not to grant or loan any further funding to the Fraser Park Community Trust and that the quest is considered as part of the next annual plan process. So as we've heard from the um, submission today, the, um, the Fraser Park has um, uh, urgent financial pressures and so we've decided to bring this report back so that um, councillors can consider options. So from officers' perspective, council have two planning tools. So we've got the long-term plan, which we have every three years, and also the annual plan, which we have every non-LTP year. And it's at that time that we consider all the requests from the numerous council and um, community um, organisations in terms of where they want their money spent and other projects that they would like to have considered. We consider those against all priorities at that point in time and councillors make informed judgments on 
how to spend the funds and what to do next. Um, in terms of financial implications, paragraphs uh, 10 to 17 outline the um, funding and grants and the offers of additional funding which um, the Trust uh, have taken up. So Council has three options here today. Um, option one being that we can grant um, a cash fund. Um, and so the financial implications are sort of outlined there. Depending on the amount that is um, would be granted to the organisation, anything from 0.02 to 0.2% of rates. Option two is that um, council could consider a further loan, and again the amounts sort of range from 11,000 to 119,000 per annum. Um, there is a question as to whether the um, trust could find that affordable to repay um, the um, the debt repayments. And option three is council does not grant any cash or any um, loans. So on that basis, the preferred option from officers is that um, Council does not, in this financial year, grant or loan any further funding to the Cooper Fraser Park Community Trust, and that the request is considered as part of the next annual plan process, where it can be fully considered against all competing projects um, at that time. Thanks, uh, Jason. And so questions in regard to the paper, or questions of Jason? Councillor Scott and then Councillor Jackson. Um, so our original paper received was it was a million dollars requested. So obviously today from listening that's changed to 750. 750 over two years I think. Yeah. 500,000 or 250, yes. Yeah. And so that's why we're given some ranges. This report yeah. was done um, a couple of months ago. So we can see that the, um, the information for half a million is in the report mm -hmm. and for 250. Yeah. Okay, I, so I, my question is um, more as well around process now that there's not as, they haven't asked actually for as much as that's been proposed in the paper. I don't, just questioning. The reason why? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's a, that's a question to, uh, to say for uh, Philip and, and, and Gary. Um, so, uh, Councillor Jackson. No, that's my question. Your question as well? Anyone else? Yep, Councillor Shannon. Thanks, mate. So, um, with the, the new figure there, with the, the 500 in the first year, the, 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 the second, would um, your opinion perhaps on the preferred option change? Uh, I still think, from my perspective, and officers have been pretty firm on this, that we have a planning process for a reason where we can consider competing projects against each other and so my um, recommendation is still um, to go to the next annual plan. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions? So, I mean, for those, for those new ones, uh, uh, it's that fairness and equity around competing uh, projects, so that's what would normally happen with uh, in your plan, so we understand that officers need to uh, make recommendations around uh, that process and what would normally uh, be the case. Obviously, we recognise that there's some urgency and that's why uh, Philippa and Gary are in front of us today around some of those funds uh, potentially uh, having to be recalled and, uh, and the risk of the overall project. So uh, I'll thank you, Jason, and I'll let you take your leave for now. <laughs> and I will ask uh, uh, Philippa and Gary to come back up, and we just need to uh, talk through the reasons for public exclusion. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Pass to you. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, can we please go into public exclusion for the protection of individuals and for commercial sensitivity? Yeah, and that's in regard to obviously your uh, own... My personal situation. Yeah. So, need to now... Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh, uh, thank you. Through you, Your Worship. So, when uh, for councillors in considering whether to go into public excluded, uh, you've got to weigh the what you're being presented with is that there is commercially sensitive information that may be presented uh, and that the 
in the absence of being presented with that, uh, you may not get the full picture as wanting to be presented. Now, the challenge you have is that you don't know what it is at present, uh, but you have been asked whether or not, in regard to this matter, uh, whether you are willing to go into public exclusion if you wish to, uh, we pass a resolution to exclude the public, but to ask uh, uh, Philip McGurin and uh, Gary Rooney to remain as they are people with special knowledge. So I think we the uh, resolution. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. So, Councillor Burt. Um, yeah, look, in, in the interest of understanding the, the full uh, amount of information we need to make this appropriately and considering the amount involved, I think um, I'd like to move that we go into public exclusion. Councillor Parker, happy to second that. Uh, any further question discussion from anyone in regard to that? No, so I'll put the motion now. Uh, all those in favour to go into public excluded, uh, please say, sorry Councillor Booth, you don't get to vote. Uh, please say aye. 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 Against? Uh, carried. So we'll move now 